So check this out. They're saying, this is actual news. They're saying that meteor that crashed off the Australian coast may not be a meteor, but a UFO, an alien UFO. You cannot make this up. This is uh, apparently on a real news channel. We're gonna check it out. Drop a thumbs up if you're new, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's Harvard check it out. professor believes a meteor that crashed off the coast of Australia nearly a decade ago may actually be an alien spacecraft. Oh, wow. Okay. Astrophysicist Avi Loeb is planning a $2.2 million expedition to retrieve the mysterious object. And he's hoping it might help answer whether we're alone or not in the universe. It happened 10 years ago, so they must have probably took all of the parts, disassembled them, put it deep down under Area 51, 69, whatever. It's not going to be found anymore, man. The, the, the government got it, bro. Joining us now is astrophysicist and Harvard professor himself, Avi Loeb. Good morning to you. What do you expect to find off Australia's northern coast? Well, uh, the meteor was discovered in... Uh, 2014 by the US government, uh, about 100 miles off the coast of Papua New Guinea. And the material of it uh, is tougher. The than government probably have it the entire thing at bro. this point. They, no one's gonna find any signs, bro. Like 2014, like now you're finding that out, bro. An iron based on the data. So the question is whether it's just an unusual rock or perhaps a spacecraft from another civilization. Uh, I was able to receive full funding for this expedition uh, to Papua New Guinea, and we will scoop uh, the ocean floor and figure out the composition of the object. I already promised- The government probably made barbecue off of that, bro. Like, it's over, it's gone. The uh, curator of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, that if we find any gadget, I'll put it on display there. Oh. Hey, oh, wow. that's Australian property. We might have something to say about that. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, but at the time, US Space Command reported that it was just a meteor. Were they telling fibs? Uh, because they've only recently come out and been more open about UFOs, haven't they? Yeah. Yes, they did. But in this case, um, it was uh, US government sensors that detected uh, an object that entered the atmosphere. They're monitoring the sky for any ballistic missiles uh, for national ah. security purposes. And they could just see a fireball and the speed by which the object... It might be a Chinese lantern. You know what I mean? They always Bruh. come out with those explanations, right? Chinese lantern, uh, UFO, not a UFO. It's a, it's a drone. It's just an RGB light, uh, fireworks. Moved, and that indicated that it came from outside the solar system. So they don't really know what it is. And that's what we plan to figure out. Mm -hmm. So do you believe aliens though. exist? Oh, definitely. Uh, we now know that most of e the stars, like the sun, formed the five billion years before the sun. So there was plenty of time for any civilization next to them. And there are tens of billions of them in the Milky Way galaxy alone. Uh, there was plenty of time for them to send probes that would reach us, even if they were propelled by chemical rockets. And out of cosmic modesty, we should assume that we are not the smartest kid in our cosmic neighborhood. Yeah. And we can learn from them. Uh, Man, the, the galaxy, the universe is huge. The fact that Milky Way, that's the galaxy we're living on, there are billions of galaxies, billions of planets out there. It, it, it's just impossible. There was shit before even the sun, right? It's like, dude, there you cannot comprehend that. It's there is just so much out there, just completely impossible that we're the only one. Completely impossible. Just no way, no way. Uh, and uh, the only way to find out this is not a philosophical question. We just need to look up yeah. and down as well in the ocean floor. <laughs> yeah, look up. What an idea. Look up, and yeah, that's a really good, good uh, point. Over, over oceans, like, I heard like a number somewhere around like 70%, something like that. 70% of the, the oceans are completely unexplored. Our oceans are an actual alien planet to us. It's unexplored. We need to explore that. Why aren't we doing that, right? Alien look like. Is there any movie you think has got close? Do they look like E.T. or anything no, no, like that? No, um, no. Um, you know... Travel through interstellar space would be very difficult for biological creatures. We were designed to survive on the on a rock like the Earth uh, by natural selection. But uh, 
Artificial intelligence systems could in principle navigate through space uh, for a very long time and they could survive the hazardous conditions of interstellar space. So the way I imagine it is some equipment. Man, our future is going to be crazy, right? If we do not blow ourselves up, think about this, right? The AI, uh, you might have seen the robots. A lot of the AI can actually, you might not even know. Imagine this is not a real video imagine i'm not real imagine i'm an ai I, i'm actually a real person okay like let me just clarify but my point here is that ai technology has reached a breaking point that it is starting to look more natural more human-like and think about this right if we start to send ai in space they start to study it they start to go in and think for itself the advancements that we might make in the next hundred years would be astronomical. They would be insane. Just think about this, right? From 1900 to 2000, we progressed like crazy as a society. From 2000 to 2022, like now. Crazy difference. Just shocking different. Back, like you go back 20 years ago, you couldn't find, uh, you couldn't find these uh, smartphones. You cannot find them. They didn't even exist. In like the last decade, we just grew like crazy. Yup, in right direction, also in bad direction. And now the AI is really getting to, uh, to that level. It's, that is it's far insane. more advanced than what we possess because they had more than a century to develop ah. their science and technology. And, you know, we will, we could learn from that. Uh, it would give us a, a sort of a, a sense of what our future might be like. Yeah. Okay. Gee, okay, yeah. well, like we'll... a flying robot. Hey, when you arrive, we'll uh, we'll chat again. But ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen. They do not want you seeing this shirt, man. Click on it, subscribe, and I will see you right there.